Looks like this place has a little bit of a secret to it. Someone else's thoughts echo in your head. If you don't keep a close eye on it, that light's going to run away from you. Pay attention to its location, find the exact spot where it once stood, and examine it thoroughly. So, you're talking about this shiny in here, right, Mr. Ghosty Man? Huh? When we come back, you come in the back, it jumps to the front. So, how about one of us waits for it over there? Eh, sounds like a plan. So, this is a neat little mechanic they've thrown into the game that I actually really like. And, uh, they could have done a little bit more with this, but, yeah, whatever. Is this the spot where you saw that weird glowy thing? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Uh, you can only do it with if you have two or more people in your party, though. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of holds back the game a little bit, but, again, I like it, so, eh. Ah, there we go. Ah, almost got it. Gotcha. Naomi, I got it. Nice job, psycho. Turned out to be this. Infirmary key. Jumping around all over the... That doesn't usually happen with keys. Not by themselves, anyway. Goes to show you what a little teamwork can do. Yeah, <laughs> we'll make a great team. Definitely. Well, I know where the infirmary is, but... First, more exploration. Might as well. Mm, red door, different from the rest. Custodian's closet. Erratic noise that, like that of a TV static. Interesting. Angry ghost or something, maybe? Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any sort of name tag on it this time. Yeah, there's times where uh, if you check bodies, they won't have name tags, but if you check, like, a group of papers or a sparkly thing right next to them or near them, and it usually has their name tag on it or whatever, so it's not too bad. I'm a gonorcist. The tendons in my ankle have been cut really bad. The bleeding just won't stop. Please, don't give up. I want you to keep on living for the both of us. I'm going to document everything I've learned so far in the, in the hopes that you can use this information to help keep yourself safe. Yeah, what is... Yeah, that guy won't give us any information. We won't find out what's going on until... Like, I think the third chapter? Could be wrong. Hmm. Oh, wait. I'm not going this way. I'm going to the infirmary. Back to the infirmary we run off to. Yay. Ah, music, why are you glitching on me? I actually like this song when it actually gets into the thing on it. Oh, and if you guys wonder where we are, there's the front entrance right there. Ah. Oh. Again, music, quit restarting. And then to the infirmary. Holy crap, I'm gonna have to grab me a drink of water real quick. My throat's running dry. I'll be back in one second. Alright. Uh, that actually hit the spot. Cool. Uh, anyway, infirmary! Yay! We can actually get inside now. Let's see if we can uh, find us some medicines and stuff to actually fix up Naomi's leg. Save point if you want it. I don't really need it right now. Vast quantities, qu the vast quantities of medicine and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves, and then a single bottle of alcohol. Why didn't you need all these for? This is an infirmary. This is like the school's. Uh, thing, and of course there's going to be medicines and crap in here. It's an old-fashioned space heater, but it's so full of ash that it'll probably never light again. A uh, box of matches is on the ground next to it. Take them? Yeah, sure, why not? Yay, I'm sure they'll come in handy a little bit later. Hopefully. There's an uh, anatomical diagram of the human body. I can't even pronounce that word. 
Seems as if someone painted it over each of the organs with actual blood. Yeah, this game does get kind of dark, if you kind of haven't already known. It gets darker than this. <laughs> Wash your hands with soap. Yay. It's always a good thing. Let's go try and wash our hands. It's been been a while since we've figured out if we can. Dang it, there's no water. I didn't realize just how thirsty I am. Eh, I have a drink right here. Good old Mountain Dew. Um, sorry, Naomi, but uh, I have my, myself a drink right here. Ah, a pair of scissors on one of the shelves. Both of his blade are covered liberally in blood. That's not a good sign, is it? Hmm. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, well, I'm sure we'll come back to the infirmary sometime or later. It didn't look like they have any, had any gauze or anything. Just don't look at the bloody pile of mess of guts right there in the corner, and I think we'll be called just fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and place down the floorboard that we picked up a little while ago. And really? Crap. Is there somebody following me? Eh. Guess it was just my imagination. Oh well, whatever. A pile of haphazardly strewn human bones is heaped up on the floor. Upon closer examination, a student ID tag can be seen jutting out from it from one side. Uh, Sasha C Wow, I can't even pronounce it. A lot of these names, I'm not even going to try anymore. Crumpled piece of paper on the ground that seems to have fallen over the corpse's lifeless hand. God will surely save me. Yeah, I don't think so. Yay! Hmm, laboratories. Boys, uh, boys' room to the left. Girls' room at the end of the hall. Eh, we're both girls. We can go into the boys' bathroom if we want, right? Ugh! Shut the goddamn door! What the hell was that? Oh, you don't have to be so fetching rude about it, dude. I don't really know which is more likely, hearing voices or an actual person. Hmm. Looks like he's gone. And nothing in any of these. Cool. Uh, whatever. Uh, move, please. Move. Hmm. Bucket. Bucket. A clump of unidentifiable, unidentifiable meat inside the rest of the bucket. Completely crawling with maggots. Interesting. Nothing? Seriously? It won't open. I'm sure there's something in there that we need to get a little later on. Oh well. Y yeah. We need to find a key for this guy. Really? Eh. Come on, move it. God damn you freaking... Let's see, I'm trying to... Eh, we can't even get over there quite yet. Oh well, whatever. Hey, Naomi? Huh? Do you have any of that ass medicine on you, by any chance? You know, the smeary stuff. What? The... What? <laughs> it came out from left field, buddy, but yet my butt's been drier than the desert. <laughs> really? Um, yeah, TMI, psycho. TMI. You got some antibacterial cream if that'll work. Thanks, I'm going to butter up my pooper with it. Real good. Butter up my pooper. Yay. She has no sense of decency. Yay. <laughs> Do you have any shame at all? No, she doesn't. She really doesn't. Well, can we actually get on with it? Big brother. Uh, isn't that Yuka's voice? Uh, really? Game? Was that Yuka? And, uh, we can't go... We can actually go. Yeah. Psycho doesn't like being alone very well. Fine. Fine. Friggin' invisible walls of doom. Hey, Psycho, are you okay in here? Psycho? Hmm? 
Ah, nothing. Just checking to make sure you're here and bettering your pooper. Sorry for the wait. Thanks for the cream, Naomi. P put her... Yeah, just watch your hands first, please. Hey, wait, was, was that stall open? Yeah, it wasn't open earlier before. I thought that stall was locked. It wasn't. I didn't have any trouble getting in. Fine, I guess I'll let you off the hook. We have bigger things to worry about after all. I actually just heard Yuka's voice down in the hallway. I think it was coming from downstairs. Let's go check it out. Right. Really? You could, or Psycho came out of that door, right? <laughs> oh well, whatever. <laughs> I'm sure that wouldn't have any significance on the game whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go find ourselves a Yuka. Howdy, Yuka. I hope you're doing all... Ow. Naomi, are you alright? Hey, that was a close one, man. You could could have fallen all the way down the stairs and hit your head and bonked all over the friggin' place. Yeah, I'm just glad you didn't fall in. It seems like you sprained your ankle really badly, though. We should find you someplace to sit down and rest. Yeah, you're probably right. Here, lean on my shoulder for the time being. Thanks, I owe you one, Psycho. Think nothing of it. Hmm. Need to take a rest. The only beds that I've seen thus far are down here at the infirmary. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll go and uh, find ourselves a place to... Oh, God. I think I stepped in it. You did? Here, I got some tissues. Maybe you can wipe it off. Uh, these things are definitely somebody's guts. And when I stepped on it, whatever, whatever part of their body I stepped on, it made a squishy sound. And I could just plop down to my shoe in a juicy pile of dog... Again, Psycho. TMI. Oh, God, that's way too much information. You're gonna make me puke. Sorry. Good Lord, Psycho. You need to learn how to filter out your thoughts before you come reach your mouth, man. Ugh. Alright. So, uh, let's go ahead and take a rest real quick. Somehow I expected the beds to be a lot dustier. And they are surprisingly clean. That's good, though. Now you can finally rest your weary bones, Naomi. Yeah, I think I'm going to lie down for a bit. I'll tuck away in the corner like that. I always preferred nooks and corners. They just make me feel safe, I guess. <laughs> I know just what you mean. I'm the exact same way. I wonder if there's anything in here that we could use to soothe that ankle of yours. Sit tight, Naomi. I'm gonna t go take a look. Okay, thanks a bunch. Don't thank me yet. I haven't done anything. Yeah, kind of really haven't, but whatever. We're still friends. Friends to the end, right? Ah, this'll do nicely. I got me a makeshift splint and some bandages. That sprains a goner. Now, hold still. Oh, man, you're a lifesaver. All right, you're wrapped up tight. How does it feel? It feels great, Psycho. Thank you. Heh, <laughs> you're very welcome. I've sprained my ankle pretty badly before, too, so I know just how you feel. I wish I had some ice or something to put on it, though. No worries. You've done more than enough already. Uh, you're asleep now? That's fair enough, I guess. We did have a really rough entry. Glad you agree. <laughs> it's slumberland for me. You really are an oddball, you know that? Hey, so hey, Naomi. Hmm? If we find Mochita, have you thought about what you want to do with him? Yeah? Well, you know what they say when two people are faced with difficult situations, shall we say. It often leads to love, sweet love. You should do well, uh, you should well up on all your courage and confess your feelings to him. You get all girly with him in this creepy place, and your cuteness factor will go th grow three sizes in his eyes, I bet. <laughs> I swear, with you around, I almost feel like we're just shooting the breeze back at school. 
Like nothing has ever happened. <laughs> Thanks for your advice. I'll think about it. Eh. I hope we'll find him soon. Uh huh. You you kind of don't though, do you? You think about how you wish he didn't have to be put through all of this. You want to see him, but you wish you could rest easy knowing that he's safe and sound back at home, rather than wandering around here. Am I right? See, Psycho's finally getting your priorities straight. Finally! Must be those maternal instincts of yours kicking in, huh? You're a deep one to be sure. She may sound like an idiot, but she's right on all counts. Guess there's no fooling Psycho. I've been pretty curt with her since we got here. I'll have to make sure I apologize later. Hmm? And what was that exactly? <laughs> Sorry, it's just when I see that ass of yours, I start to drool. Yeah, Psycho's kind of swings that way. You are so weird. Big brother. Yuka, what's going on? Was that? That was Yuka again. I heard it too. I'll go take a look. You stay here and rest, okay? I'll be back in a jiffy. I don't think that's such a good idea. I should go too. I insist. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Just keep that ass parked on that bed. You got it? <laughs> Love that. Dad ass on that bed. Look, your ankle's all dressed and feeling better, right? Don't make it all, don't make it all for nothing. Alright, I guess I'll stay here. Hmm, my ankle does feel a lot better. Psycho has a definite knack for caretaking. <sighs> Miss Yui and the others. Satoshi, I wonder what they're all doing right now. Rumble, rumble. What the hell is wrong with you, Satoshi? Get a hold of yourself and get off me. That's my chest. Uh, sorry, I couldn't see where I was grabbing. Likely story there, Satoshi. You're lucky you're so cute. Wait, what? Oof. I just want... Yeah, we know we want to see him. See him. Why did this have to happen? Bad things happen to good people. Hmm. Psycho's sure taking her sweet-ass time. Let's go see if she's okay. Why is the door locked? On closer inspection, there is no visible uh, bolt keeping the door closed, nor any other evidence that it's been locked at all. What? But if it's not locked, then why won't it open? I've got a bad feeling about this. <sighs> Are those children? Yeah, something's not right here. Let's all go on a field trip together over summer vacation. Uh, shit. Who, what? I'm, I, I, I seriously want to get out of here now. <sighs> really? No? My head hurts so bad. I can't stop this ringing in my ears. We really need to get out of here. Now. <laughs> Please. Get us out of here. Fine. Is, is there anything else in here that we need to do? Yeah. Old journal. Appears the journal in reality is more like a model. Eh, crap. Wash the blood with soap. That's not good. Uh, crap. Really, game? Please. <laughs> Let me out of here. Let me out of here. This is not funny. Okay, really, game. Why aren't... Why haven't we done anything really game please 
It's not supposed to... Oh, there we go. The door is latticed with countless strands of black hair rooting it in place. Um, crap. Yeah, we know that. Shit. Is someone there? It sounds like a ballpoint pen scribbling away on a sheet of paper. Oh! Sachi, have you come to find me? Oh! What the devil? I. No! Eek! I need to get away! Get away from the freaking evil spirit of death! Yes! Burn! Burn the hair! Uh, no! Oh, crap! Eh, the malevolent force, if this continues, death is inevitable. Oh, no! Run, Naomi! Run! Holy crap! This is one part of the freaking game where Xbox 360 controller is not good. <sighs> yes, this part, if you do die to this ghost... It will be the bad ending. Okay, come on. Damn it! Ugh. Let me go. Eh. What's happening? The black mist begins flowing into Naomi's body through her nose, her mouth, her ears, her eyes. In no time at all, she's completely engulfed. With vision darkening and consciousness fading, last thing Naomi ever sees is wildly grinning visage of a woman she's never seen before. Well, screw that noise.